After two months of mostly crickets from former active server the Pond MC, it seems that their relaunch will finally be slated to take place this Saturday. Unfortunately, our boots and the ground team will be MIA for the launch, and we will be reporting from the sidelines here in our studio. This morning, our team received screenshots from a conversation between a concerned player and one of the managers over in the Pond MC, James MC. Detailed in the screenshots, the user asks James if the store will be changed prior to server launch. James denied these store changes and stated that the previous store will go live when the server launches this weekend. Effectively, this nullifies the talks that our team had with them back in August. James did state that the paid one aspects would be available free in-game at a later date, but we will see later. The timing of this is a bit suspicious. James then went on to accuse the user of asking about the store every quote, few days, which was quickly debunked as the user in question only asked about it once before, two weeks prior. Then, in a very unnecessary and unprofessional exchange, James tells the user that if he doesn't like their server then he should quote, play somewhere else or report them to Mojang. A manager in his position should not be responding to user questions and concerns so harshly as they are the ones who made the server exist in the first place. Without these users, this server would be nothing. It seems as if the pawn should possibly invest in a PR department before launching anything next time. This is no way to respond to questions and criticism as a manager of this server. After the user publicly discussed the matter in our Discord and sent the images over to our team, James half-heartedly apologized and then for some reason doubled down when the user stated that he would remain quiet. Unfortunately, the Pond MC has a track record of not keeping promises after communicating with our team following the crashing the Pond MC saga, and any changes that may occur should be taken with a large grain of salt. The fact that they are launching the exact same store that we and their users had issues with two months ago is a slap in the face to any and all users who asked for change in the first place. This should have been a priority seeing just how many people dissented against their store and the pay-to-win nature of it. Furthermore, launching the server with this store enabled will allow them to make the most money and profit off the pay-to-win nature of their store due to the influx of players that they will have during the launch. Unfortunately, it seems that right now they will only change to a non-pay-to-win server after they've made their money off the relaunch. A very sad day to any of their non-paying players. We hope to see some sort of changes to the server very soon to a more user-friendly and non-pay-to-win outlook, and we look forward to hopefully getting a statement from the owner of the pond, Ducky, about how his team responds to criticism. Ducky, if you're watching this, you could read out to our team at any time on the Discord. In other news, it seems that Netherite is finally making changes to their loot box system, store prices, and overhauling some of the controversial systems that they had in place. It is finally a step in the right direction, and hopefully more comes out of this in the near future. The only concern that I have at this time is the fact that the free version of their crates do not include the ability to win any of their ranks of any kind, nor do they show percentages for the win rates of any of the items. This is leading users to believe that the crates may be heavily rigged towards non-high tier items, and it could be very nice if the server would finally respond to the accusations of rigging the crates in the first place. If it wasn't clear in our previous broadcast, the Eco Crates plugin that they use to do their crates is easily riggable and you can show fake percentages. If they were to remove this plugin, it would alleviate any questions and concerns about the crates in the future. As a footnote on our broadcast today, I would like to thank you so much for almost reaching 1,500 subscribers on this channel so far, and we've just hit 200 members of the Discord and are doing a giveaway if you join right now. The Discord is, as always, linked in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching, getting your daily dose of vitamin P. That news voice really hurts my throat sometimes, and I really appreciate you guys coming by and watching the videos, as I always say. Again, thank you so much for watching, getting your daily dose of vitamin P. If you guys want more daily doses of vitamin P, please check out the rest of the videos linked on the channel, as always, down below. And a couple will be popping up at the end of the screen here so stick around if you want to see more videos thank you guys so much for being patient on these news videos it takes a while for stuff to actually come out about this pond is relaunching this weekend we'll be watching it with a close eye although i will not be around this weekend to actually play on it which i'll be trying to do in a future video thank you guys again for all the support new members of the discord link to the description thank you guys i appreciate you i appreciate you i will see you in the next one peace out and take care Hey there, Vitamin P from the future here. I just want to let you know that the user in question that was talking about the store changes previously has now been banned for seemingly no reason. He has reached out to admins on the server and they have given him no explanation, and it just seems like they're trying to cover up again the fact that they aren't making changes to their pay-to-win server.